All right, so if we're given a cost curve, a cost function, and we're asked to solve for the marginal cost or the additional cost of producing, let's say, the fifth unit, how do we go about this? Well, the, the, easiest, the easiest way is to use calculus. Take the derivative, plug in in five, and solve it. If we're going to go the, the roundabout way, we're going to avoid using calculus. What we can do to find this, this marginal cost, again, we're looking for the, the change in cost, the additional cost when you're produ going from producing the fourth unit to the fifth unit. And so when we go in to produce that fifth unit, to, to get that additional cost of producing the fifth unit, we've got to calculate the total cost of producing four units. So we've got to calculate the cost uh, of producing four units and, and sub actually subtract that from the cost of producing the fifth unit. So that should give us the additional cost to produce that fifth unit. And so we can start off, solve for the, the cost of producing four units. That's going to be 45 plus 10 times 4 plus 4 times 4 squared. And I think that's uh, 100 and off the top of my head, 149. Uh, then we can go in and, and figure out, okay, what's the cost of producing five units? So the total cost of producing five units, that's going to be 45 plus 10 times 5 plus 4 times 5 squared. And again, off the top of my head, that is, I think, 195. And so what's the marginal cost? What's the additional cost to produce this fifth unit? Well, it should be about uh, 195. So this is the, the marginal cost of producing the fifth unit. It should be about 195 minus 149. And so uh, the, an easier way to do that um, An easier way to do that would have been up top to, to avoid all this and, and use calculus. Take that derivative. If we took the derivative of our cost function, we'd get 10 plus 8q. Uh, and then we could, we could plug in the, uh, the 5, since we're looking for the marginal cost of that fifth unit. Plug in 5, and we'd get 10 plus 8 times 5 should equal 45. Uh, and so th this would be the more exact answer because we're taking that instantaneous rate of change. Um, but, but this is a pretty uh, a, a sound way to do it. You can get pretty close, a pretty good approximation of the marginal cost, the additional cost of producing that fifth unit.